hello there YouTube and welcome to a 46 degree <laughs> Sunday the 25th of February this is what it's been all day long sometimes pouring heavy sometimes just this drizzly rain like it's doing now it's just been wet 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 everything's been super super quiet dogs are all hanging out inside they run out just long enough to do their their doggy business and they went back in like right away. It's been a nasty one. But it's <laughs> it's like 5.30 out here now. So I'm going to come out and try to do the, the deal for the yellowing nasty looking headlights. I got a kit for it. I just need to mask it off and get that going. There's the brand new... Brand new tires. It's amazing how different it rolls down the road with fresh tires. It's crazy. But it is, I am gonna have it aligned because um, it is pulling ever so slightly to the to the right. Even moving over into the fast lane because our, our roads have water runoff. So um, you know it should slightly pull to the to the left. With all things perfect, if you're in the center lane, you should just go straight because the road's slope. The car's naturally going to move one way or the other. But even in the fast lane, it'll ever so slowly creep towards the middle lane. But uh, yeah, nice deep. Looks like good runoff. Got good reviews that I read on it. So those should work. So I'm going to tinker with that tonight before it gets cold black out here. There's a couple of times it got bright out and... I thought there was hope that it might get pretty out here, but nope. There's Leo out there roaming around in the yard. It's been one of those days. But um, yeah, for the last, I don't know, hour and a half or so, I've been tinkering around with the uh, um, the VRD. Um, I'm playing around with the, with the Fusion and uh, settling and with the radio. There's adjustments on the radio as well and in the Fusion that it kind of mellow out the, uh, you know, the jerkiness of it, which that's not good if you're doing rock crawl. You don't want to, because that, that motor's got a lot of power. It's 2,300 kV, so it's, uh, she's got some, she's got some boost to her, and that radio is super sensitive. So uh, both with the fusion and the radio, you can mellow that out a little bit. And the, the reverse was definitely hypersensitive. So using endpoints, I can move. So now the throttle is, you know, you have the same sensitivity going forward as, as reverse, where it was kind of biased towards the reverse. So as soon as you touched it from a neutral position, it would jump. Yeah, that's not good. You know, so I got the power reduced in reverse as well. I just don't need to go super fast backwards. And um, I think it's pretty violent in reverse. So I mellowed all that out. And you remember uh, last year I bought those uh, Scorchers, I think that's what they're called. Uh, Proline tires, the G8, G8 compound. And I had them on, I think I put them on the uh, um, the Ford Bronco, the 2021 uh, Traxxas. That's not what year the model's made. It's based off the 2021 Ford Bronco. So they always give it a name, you know, like the 79 Bronco and whatever. But um, anyway, um, I, I had them on there for a little while and, and took them off, and I just, it's never been on another car. So I pulled those tires out and, and I put those on. And uh, Vanquish has a collar that's uh, seven millimeters, so the wheel doesn't go directly against the hex. I didn't notice it at first until you know I'm going, what's going on here? I can't even get to the nylock portion of the nut. Let's, let's walk out here while I'm talking about it here. Hold on. So the, you know, the the stud should come through and, you know, the nylock of the nut should bite down on it. Well, it wasn't even close. It was bottoming out. So I can see good, too, because it's got weights on the front. So I see good in the back. I'm going, wait a minute. It's not following all, falling all the way on the hex. And uh, so I pull it off of, gum it. there's a collar. So, um, by default, these wheels, the center hole in the wheels, you got to remember, they're just riding against the hex. The axle can, it, the hole can be bigger than the axle it's going on, or 
stud it looks like it's you know the but anyway um so i measured it seven millimeters so i had to take them i think it was like 5.5 millimeter hole and i had to i went step by step by step and i want to damage those these uh, trio wheels aren't aren't exactly cheap so i don't want to needlessly destroy them so uh um anyway i put the got them up to seven millimeters and they fit on there fine yeah, trencher. Couldn't remember the name for a second. It's got the orange, orange dot. There's that, uh, the weight up front. But the orange dot is the G8 compound. The blue dot is the Predator compound, which is super soft. Oh, and I, I just, I had this was supposed to go on. I think it was supposed to go on the Gen 9 Red Cat, and uh, <laughs> never put it on. Never. There's no weakness in that stock servo, so put that. 30, 35 kV servo on there. It's much faster and more powerful. I want to get a, I want to get a higher end one, but but uh, yeah, right now I don't know RCs are hot at the moment or something because prices are kind of high on everything right now. Well, that's kind of the way the world is anyway. And tomorrow I was hoping they'd show up by Friday. The heavier lower links, the upper links are the same size, but uh, you get them as a kit from Vanquish. And uh, these will be um, much thicker and much stronger. It's been because this one's bent for clearance, so that's a it's so thin it's a weak point. So I, I just can't imagine they saved anything. You know, trying to keep the price down but make it a ready to run. You know, where the uh, the build kit, which in hindsight I should have bought the build kit because you can get it for I think it's like forty dollars less than getting the ready to run, but it has no no radio equipment no servos it it doesn't i don't think it comes with a cover either or the body um the only difference is the motor plate i think is a billet motor plate i think there's some fancier stuff with the transmission and it comes with a carbon fiber frame which saves you literally just a few grams and uh it, it looks more cool than anything else but i would from a couple of things I've seen here, one of the wheels was over torqued, and the the plastic wheels, and it kind of damaged the wheel as well. Glad I haven't sent the email off because I got more pictures and complaints. But um, you know, I'm sure like everything else, they're in a rush to get a new model out. And, you know the old saying: "Be careful buying the first of something," because this just was announced like a month ago, a little over a month ago. But um. Anyway, I'd have bought the kit and built it, hand built it. That way, I know everything's perfect. So in hindsight, I put a different servo on it. I put a different motor on it to get another um, receiver to put in there, so I can use that one radio. I think it's got 50 models you can have on it. Um, I ended up buying the stuff that the kit didn't come with anyway. And the wheels are kind of cheesy that comes with the kit because they know you're going to throw those away. So I, you know, I've got plenty of wheels I could have put on it. So yeah, I'd have been better off to save the 40 bucks because I spent the extra money for the motor and all that stuff anyway. So, and literally I could have bought a much higher end servo than this for what the, the link rod kit costs. So think about that. If you're savvy enough to assemble one of these, buy, it's called the, uh, the VRD um, carbon is what it's called. But you'll have to paint a body or buy a, a pre-painted body. And, of course, you can choose whatever body you want to put on there at that point, too. But this one's designed that, you know, the stance body, they call it. It's designed for rock crawling so you can, you know, have clearance when you're going through rocks and different things. Because you're kind of going under things and you do a lot of weird stuff rock crawling. If you watch any of those uh, competitions and, and stuff, they're... Uh, yeah, a lot of rules and well not a whole lot of rules but you know you uh, you have to go through a lot to be good at it and to because you're timed through a gated course but um anyway that's what I've been doing I've been piddling around with that for a while so uh I think I'll drive this thing around I hate to get those because the last time I used those um trenchers <laughs> I washed them all off look at them they look I mean they are brand new I think I drove it a couple of times with that Bronco, and, and that was it. But, um, man, that rain out here is nasty. 
but we'll we'll pull around with this thing here a little bit. So I, I didn't dumb this thing down too much with a uh, with power and stuff. I just made it the responses softer, so that um, you know, kind of like when you're trying to go over some ob obstacle, you know, a rock or something. There's no obstacle out here. This is literally just kind of a joke for this thing. But um, anyway, you don't want to you know a herky jerky throttle response you don't want to you know try to prevent wheel spin but uh yeah i was goofing around the house there with it last night after i um did some initial tuning and i uh, finished off with it this morning and then that servo was slightly different so i had to reset my my steering trim you know to get it straight again it was Every servo seems to be ever so slightly off. And of course, when you change the trim, now I gotta readjust my endpoints. You can turn this thing so sharp, it'll actually, the tires will ride against the, the link arms underneath. But yeah, everything out here is just, to this thing is, is literally a, like a joke to it, like I say. But it is fun that, you know, you don't, you really don't have to, you know, wonder, you know, am I going to hit this thing right? That it's going to... Oh, another thing that... Yeah, look at that. See how the reverse doesn't just leap out from under me? I might take a, a better stab at this thing here, too. Because the, the next thing I was going to tell you, because it's got 27% overdrive up front. Oh, and the, uh, the carbon one, I think, is... I think you have an option between couple of things but uh depends on how you set it up yeah see it keeps doing that because the front wheels are turning so much faster than the rear and they're unloaded because i'm coming downhill it uh it tends to make the rear end slide going up and down that sideways ramp you know how everything kind of goes sideways as i'm going up that especially all the ones i've overdriven the front end well it's exaggerated with this because the front wheels are turning fast enough that it's dragging the rear wheels. So it tends to step off or try to, which could be tricky. It would be nice if you had, you know, kind of a switcher. Somebody, I forget which model it is. I don't think it's a Vanquish. Maybe, you know, I think it is actually one of their, their truck things where you can... It's a, they call it something, a dual transmission. And instead of shifting between um, like a like a first, the high and low gear, it's switching the, uh, turning the uh, overdrive off. So you can side hill with it. Because if you have good traction, it's gonna, it's gonna call, or loose traction, it's gonna cause that rear end to slide out. If there's any slip whatsoever. When you're side hilling, it's going to make the rear end step out because they're basically being drug. And another thing, when you either like this came with that over that 27% overdrive, like the two trucks I did, I think one was 6%, another, I think one of them was 10%. I don't remember which. I think that might have been the Gen 9. And um, I even noticed a difference with those, but 27%, it's, it's pronounced. And it does try to step off of that that thing all the time. Well, those trencher wheels sure do, or I mean, uh, treel wheels sure do look good. Trenchers, treels. But the magic of that Fusion Pro just, I mean, you almost don't have the ability to turn it as slow as it'll go. You can go so slow, it just doesn't look like it's move, moving. You almost have to do a, a time lapse or a, what do they call it, a hyperlapse or whatever. Look how crazy sharp that thing turns, though. But, it, you know, you got to be careful running that way all the time because it's universal joints up front, which allow it to turn that far a little easier than CVs. But um, still, it, things are binding. So I just, you know, it's like to get out of a pinch type of thing. Now it's no problem going up because it's just, it's gravity is in the favor of the rear wheels. When the rear wheels don't 
you know, are kind of free to float and the way to transfer is up front and they're being drugged, they're, uh, they tend to want to, well, let's, let's go ahead and pass the front end, seeing that we're not getting any traction. We can't keep up, so we're just going to try to pass him up. <laughs> and you can see it ever so slightly when you're coming off of this, when you come at an angle. Let's see if we can get it so you can see it go sideways here. I think that, yeah, see it? See, it should straighten out by itself right now, and it's still at an angle, not straightening out pretty good. But if you get a far enough angle, you'll see the rear end start to slide out. But anyway, I'm gonna sit out here and play for a while, and then I'm gonna go, uh, we'll get a goodbye done here, but I'm gonna, before it's completely dark, I'm gonna get out here and um, get those headlights done on the CRV, because we're thinking about driving it with its nice, fresh tires. Yeah. Plus it's got a nice full tank of gas too. That always helps. This thing is super cool. I'm so excited for nicer weather to come and, and go play around. And try to meet up, do some meetups with some people and and uh, go see what it's what it's all about. You watch all the videos and you do your own little goofing around, but it's nothing like getting around some people that, you know, do this all the time. And um plus you'll learn a lot of stuff too. That's kinda cool. Bring it on that, I'm gonna bounce. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, oh man. Sure glad I got that ride in yesterday because uh, there were no rides happening today. Nope. It's been windy and wet. Rainy. Oh, great, and it's blowing by, it's coming right behind us. Yep. It's gonna spackle up the lens and it will be all blurred out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or something. But I uh, got the headlights done on the CRV it uh, that came out pretty good. I did a before and after, or not a before, but I did the right one, and then did the took a picture of the left one before. Wow, that's a huge. Yeah, difference. and things were really bad, so I think the headlights are bright now, yeah, or were bright. They're yeah. gonna really throw some light now. Actually, able to see where you're going in the old CRV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Went through and checked oils and all that stuff. Everything's everything's good to go. So we'll start. Or wagging it back and forth to work. So. Yeah, give the poor newer car a break. Yeah, get her. Man, that thing needs clean from the inside out. The inside's just about as bad as the as the outside. I know. Got her all cleaned up that one time, and oh, winter hit, and what a mess. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so comfortable. I know. It all the very safety who was it's got everywhere. I just you know, you feel very comfortable in it. Mm-hmm. But. Things expensive and the miles are racking up quick. Yeah, they are. So uh, that's what we got the war wagon for. Finally got off our duffs and changed the tires on the thing. <laughs> I know that took a bit. Yeah, it was just kind of like, oh well, it's just so comfortable riding this MDX. I know it. We got all spoiled. Yeah, and... yeah, it happens. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's fun today. I just goofed around, tinkered around with the RC car. It's been a long time since I've done that. Kind of. Got slipped away from it there a little bit. So much fun. That's like, I don't know, just just one of those fun, fun things to do. Yes, it's very therapeutic. Yeah, it is that. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of serious. But uh, I think on that, we're going to bounce on now. Mama's down there petting Annie's out here. To keep her from pawing me. <laughs> Looks like Danny's wanting out. Of course. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Heck yeah. Alright, back to the old grind tomorrow. Yeah, see you in the morning. See you then. <laughs> Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.